Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what vibes do you give off to men, to him, to that divine masculine energy. I'm going to give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group one, and welcome to your reading. What vibes do you give off to men, to him, to that divine masculine energy? I'm going to give you everything that spirit gives to me regarding your frequency, your energy, like even like personality traits that he suspects that you do have. I will give you everything that comes through and not leave anything out. But please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. So I can see here that your energy, it naturally attracts you here to the crop circles. This is about messages, curiosity, and signs. So the vibration that he picks up, men pick up in general is the fact that they um, are very curious about like who you are. They really want to get to know you, but they feel like you're very reserved, like you're very secretive, like you hide, you know, how you truly feel. And you're just really not about putting yourself out there in the forefront and just showing your full um, character. And so they feel like, though, that you do give off signs if you would be interested in them in a romantic sense. They feel like you will put out little signs, little hints here and there, but you are definitely very reserved and keeping your feelings to yourself. Let's get more insight. What vibes do you give off to him, to men? What vibes? Thank you, spirit. And you have here... The lover's card, I of course, I love the lover's card showing up because this is in theme with the reading. Let's get another card. What vibes do you give off to him? And you have here the Nephilim, the Nephilim card, controversial assessing and new perspectives. But let's start, go back over here with the lover's card. So with the lover's card, you definitely... Um, give off this vibe that you would be like really a perfect lover, someone that you, that, um, they could connect with, you know, on a deeper level, if given the chance, of course, um, they feel like you would be loyal. You would be, um, honest in a relationship and they feel like there would be definitely, um, harmony when it comes to connecting with you, um, in a partnership that deep love connection with the Nephilim card. This is about controversial um, issues and assessing the situation. So I did give you that insight moments earlier about how um, you are definitely going to assess who he is top to bottom, inside and out. Find out what you're dealing with when it comes to men, to him. You're going to find out where the heck he is coming from before you put yourself out there. So you are truly looking at the scene here, looking at his environment, trying to see, you know, like what type of family he does come from before you truly put yourself out there in the forefront of his um, view. But you do offer like a new perspective when it comes to him or when it comes to like relationships. Um, he picks up the vibe that you could bring something new in if he does connect with you in this romantic way. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. 
What vibes do men get from you? What vibes do they pick up? What do you give off? Thank you, spirit. And you have here, the dance of fly brings direction. I love this card showing up immediately after the Nephilim card with controversy and accessing new perspectives. This is about direction. See, you've been um, through, you know, different challenges in your life. And he picks that up. He can tell that you have been challenged, you know, a bit when it comes to relationship dynamics, when it comes to platonic relationships, as well as, you know, romantic relationships. There have been challenges there, even with your family. Um, he doesn't know specific relationships that you have had to deal with, but he knows that there has been some challenges, which is why you are very um, assessing when it comes to him. You're not just jumping in, you know, and leaping without looking. And he feels like, though, with that, with those challenges that you have faced, that you can bring a new direction in the relationship. So this is why I do love the Damselfly Brings Direction card showing up as well as the Nephilim card because the Nephilim card is talking about how you do have a new perspective when it comes to relationships. And here with Bring Direction, he feel like you could really change his life. If you know what I mean, you can change his life for the better. You can just offer something very refreshing and um, good. So let's get more insight. What vibes do you give off to men, to him? What vibes do you give off? Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the 12th house. So with the 12th house, this is definitely about the subconscious mind and the 12th house is ruled over the sign. It rules over the sign of Pisces. It's about introspection. So this is a very strong confirmation with the perspective insight that spirit gave us moments earlier on how your perspective is totally different from, you know, any female that he has come across and he does pick up that energy from you. Um, the 12th house is about baggage. Like you may have some sort of baggage or a weight on your shoulder that you have not completely let go of. And um, that's a confirmation with the damn supply brings direction energy and the Nephilim energy that did come out. Um, he is definitely picking up, you know, um, uh, some sort of... Uh, you know, like, like spiritual healing, like you are connected spiritually and that you do seek spiritual healing, you know, um, whenever you can. He does also pick up that you are very compassionate. You're very forgiving. So, um, which is really one of the reasons that he does see you as this lover and does see you as the, um, this person with this new perspective because you are very compassionate and forgiving. And let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What vibes do you give off to him, to men? What vibes do you give off? Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Page of Cups. Oh my goodness. I love the Page of Cups showing up, especially directly under the Lover's card here. Because the Page of Cups is about a new love. It's about a new relationship, a marriage, a proposal. So you give off the energy that you would be perfect um, when it comes to a marriage partner, a lover. So this is a very strong confirmation here showing up, especially under the Lover's card. This Page of Cups energy is also about you having like a fresh perspective on life, a like kind of like you do, you are able to resonate with your inner child very freely and you are fun loving as well. Um, you are also very studious when it comes to your work. You're very focused, but yet and still you're fun loving. 
So group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group two, and welcome to your reading. What vibes do you give off to men, to him, that divine masculine energy. I'm going to give you clear insight on what men pick up from you, your energy, or what characteristic traits, um, your personality. I will give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. So I can clearly see here that your energy, it attracts you to the Flower of Life card. And the Flower of Life card, this tells me that men pick up the fact that you are very inspiring. Um, you inspire others just by you being yourself. But not only that, you're very uplifting. You want to see everyone win. Um, you are a dream seeker. Um, you are a dream chaser. And they pick that up quite a bit. So let's get more insight. What vibes do you give off to men? to him. What vibes? And you have here the moon. Wow. So with the moon card, I find this quite intriguing. Um, but I do want to mention that the moon, it rules over the sign of cancer. And not only that, the moon rules over, um, it rules over cancer. So, but it rules over the emotions and feelings. So he picks up the energy that you are very emotional. I feel like you do have a top water placement in your birth chart. Um, po possibly also you have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Somewhere in the top placements of your birth chart, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Venus placements, or 7th house of relationships. Also, um, these placements could be prominent in the birth charts of specific uh, men that are attracted to your energy. But specifically here, what I do love about the moon card coming out, it represents dreams. And Spirit just gave us the insight with the Flower of Life card. Uh, this card is about inspiration and dreams as well. So that's a very strong confirmation here in your reading. I feel like um, the men that do pick up vibes from you, they dream about you a lot. And I feel like they um, get the sense that you have a very strong intuition and that you can peep who they are without really knowing them. It doesn't, you don't even have to talk to certain men on the phone or have conversations with them in public. You can peep them pretty easily. They get the sense that your intuition is very strong as seen here with the moon card. Let's get more insight. What vibes do you give off to men, to him? What vibes do you give off? Thank you, spirit. And you have here the Syrians. So with the Syrians card showing up, this is definitely about your artistic abilities, um, your integrity, and how men um, feel that you are honest. And they also feel like you're very artistic, like something within the realm of creativity. They feel like either you get, they get the vibe that you're into like music, art, poetry, writing, something to do with artistic abilities. They know that you are very good and very talented at. When it comes to your honesty, they do pick up the vibe that if they do conversate with you, that um, you're going to tell them exactly how it is, exactly how you feel. You're not going to hold anything back, although you're not about hurting you know, their feelings. But if they ask you, you are definitely going to let them know how you truly feel. But that's one thing that they do respect about you, whether or not they tell you that. They do respect the fact that you are honest. So let's get more insight. Wow. What vibes do men get from you? What vibes do you give off to men, to him? 
that divine masculine energy. And you have here, rock star. Oh my goodness. So we just got the insight about your artistic energy that you do give off to men. So yes, they do see you as like this rock star, someone that can be in the limelight. They actually, like this card says here, I am a million different things at a million different times. I am me. I am me with no apologies. So yes, that's how they actually see you free flowing, doing whatever it is that you want to do. But nevertheless, very connected emotionally to who you are, to those that you do connect with, to your feelings, which is why you will tell them exactly what it is that you feel. So they see you and get the vibe that you can do um, many different things. You're good at many different things as well. Let's get more insight. What vibes do you give off to men, to him? What vibes do you give off? And you have here the Knight of Pentacles. So with the Knight of Pentacles energy, this is Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn could be in the top placements of your birth chart. Those placements I mentioned earlier. Or they could be in the birth chart of the men that are strongly attracted to you vibrationally. But specifically here or with the Knight of Pentacles energy, this is clearly telling me that you give off the vibe that you're very reliable, especially when it comes to a relationship. You give off the vibe that you're patient and that you are hard working and that you will not stop at nothing to achieve your dreams, to do what it is that you need to do. So to take care of yourself or take care of those that you do love. Let's get more insight. What vibes do you give off to men? To them, what vibes do you give off to him? Thank you, spirit. Spirituality, of course, I love the spirituality card showing up here in your reading um, because this is about your emotional um, connection between you and source energy. This is about intuition that we spoke of earlier as seen here in the moon card where they do feel like you are um, strongly connected to your spirituality. You are not only spiritually connected, but you are physically connected. You know who you are. You know what you want. You know what you want to do. You don't have time to play games with anybody, which is why um, they see you as being very honest as well, because you have lots of insight into the unseen and you respect the unseen. And they know this about you. So also the spirituality card connects with the flower of life card and the moon card when it um, is associated like with dreams because dreams are very spiritual. So men feel that, again, you can see who they are without them even opening their mouths. So you know if they're for you, you know if they're not, you know if they're playing games, you know if they're they're sincere and they don't even have to do anything. You can actually peep men on social media very easily as well. So group two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. What vibes do you give off to men, to him, that divine masculine energy? I will give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. You are naturally attracted here to the earth element card. And the earth element card is about adaptability, um, being reliable, as well as your survival instincts. So men pick up that you are definitely very grounded. Um, you are very practical. They know that you are reliable, especially when it comes to like 
a romantic relationship dynamic. They know that about you. And of course, this earth energy that represents the earth signs of Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And those signs could be in your sun, moon, or rising, your Venus placements, as well as the seventh house of relationships. And these signs could also represent the placements of men who are specifically picking up your vibrations. Also, adaptable. So they know that you can survive, you know, any challenge that is thrown at you. So they don't try you and push you too much, but I do feel like men do, um, they kind of like, they, 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 they know that you are not easily moved. You're not easily impressed with their lines, their words, you know, um, the things that they do. You're not impressed at all because you're very solid. You're about the show me when it comes to a man. And if he doesn't show you, then you're like, oh, that's okay. Thank you. Move on. But let's get more insight. What vibes do you give off to men, to him, that divine masculine energy? And you have here the king of wands. So with the king of wands energy, I can definitely see that this is about um, men seeing that you have high standards and that you will not um, lower them just to prove a point or just to have a romantic connection with them. Men actually do honor that about you. They respect that highly. Um, they get the vibe from you that you do know a lot, like you do have a lot of wisdom when it comes to like what's going on in the world. Although you may not express um, everything that's going on in the world, but what you do post like on your social media, they can clearly see that you are very wise. And you know, you actually motivate men um, and you don't even know it. You motivate that masculine energy to be a lot better, even though they move a little bit slow when it comes to taking action, but you are a wonderful motivator to, um, uh, especially divine masculine energy. And when I say divine masculine energy and male energy, there is a difference because divine masculine energy, he knows who he is. He is definitely... Um, respects divine feminine energy and actually he looks to divine divine feminine energy for guidance and you are divine feminine energy so you motivate divine masculine energy so let's get more insight what vibes do you give off to men what vibes and you have here on your own terms. So in this card says, she waited a really long time to be saved until one day she decided to save herself. It was a very good day. You see this? You see, the Spirit just gave us the insight that yes, it is confirmed that men see you as very adaptable, very, um, uh, you can survive any challenge that is um, headed your way or that is given to you, you will find a creative way to pay your bills, to um, um, balance your mind, body, and spirit, to just, you know, go about your life in a higher frequency way. You can do it and they know that you can do it. You don't need a man to take care of you. They know that, but you can find one to do it because you're very attractive, very gorgeous, very sensitive and warm hearted. And that is the vibe that they get from you as well. Let's get more insight. What vibes do you give off to men? What vibes? Thank you, spirit. What vibes? And you have here Mars taking action. I love the Mars card showing up because you do um, give the energy that you will move forward, um, that you are very brave and you do have courage. Um, men pick up the energy and the vibration that you are very aggressive when it comes to getting what you want, doing what you want to do. They know that about you and also your sensuality, your sexuality. They are vibing with the, your energy of like sexiness 
if I'm putting that the right way, but um, they see you as very sensual, you know, when it comes to connecting romantically with a partner, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. I do want to point out that Mars does rule over, the planet Mars does rule over the sign of Aries. So Aries could be in the top placement of your birth chart, sun, moon, or rising, the Venus placement, or the seventh house of relationships. It could also be represented in those placements of the men that do pick up strong vibrations from you. So let's get more insight. What vibes do you give off to men, to him? What vibes do you give off? Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Ace of Cups. This is about a romance. And Spirit just gave us that insight seconds ago about how men pick up the fact that you're very romantic. Yes, you want to be wined and dined. You want to be treated with the utmost respect and honor. This is because, see, you have high standards for yourself. Um, you want the car door opened, as you should, because this is who you are. And so they see you as being very romantic. The Ace of Cups energy, um, it represents um, how they pick up the vibe that you are, you are perfect marriage material, the wifey, the ultimate wifey, and that um, you would be a wonderful mom as well. And when it comes to like proposing to you in a marriage, um, men pick up the vibe that, you know, you would have to be proposed to in a very, a very kind of like romantic way, traditional way, you know, like you just don't want someone to say, hey, let's get married. <laughs> no, you don't want that. Maybe before you may have been resonating in that area, but now you're like, hey, if I'm proposed to, I want you to propose to me. Give me a proposal I will never forget. So this is about high standards. This is about honor. And they definitely pick up these vibes from you. Let's get more insight. What vibes do men get from you? What vibes do you give off? Thank you, spirit. And you have here physical activity. So with this energy, this is definitely about you taking care of yourself, working out, having a daily routine and ritual where you do a walk a lot or you exercise or you go to the gym because, honey, you look good to that divine masculine energy. You stand out. Your body is perfect to them. So they feel like... And they get the vibe that you do take care of yourself with some sort of physical activity on a daily basis. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.